in this short video, I'll show you how to add a sub kick kind of low frequency into your drum mix. Let's create the song first. Let's call it sub kick. We'll find some drum recording, which we have here. And by pressing D, we'll duplicate the events. Okay, let's listen. Okay, that's just the recorded sound. First, we'll pack folders. Name them drums and we'll add bus automatically. So now we have bus channel here and five individual instrument faders right behind. With bus fader, we regulate the volume the whole pack. So this bus fader allows us to mute, solo and add inserts on packed folder. Now we'll create another track, we'll add a new track, we'll call it Subkick and we'll drag and drop tone generator here. We'll add this plugin on that track. And the other way how to get the plugin there, you can drag gate on the fader. So now we have tone generator and gate on that track. We'll use the gate in a sidechain mode, which means that the plugin or the effect is driven by signal from another source. In our case, it will be from the kick drum. So we will send the signal from kick drum to the gate on a tone generator track and it will regulate it. Now solo the kick. Now we'll set the gate so it's opened only when there is a signal from the kick. We'll use preset kick one. We'll uncheck duck and now each kick will open the gate and it will let the signal through. To hear the gate opening, we'll set the tone generator to 440. So now we'll just change the frequency of the tone generator down to 35 hertz. So that was kick with sound generator in solo mode. Now let's listen to the whole riff with sound generator. We'll just turn the bus slightly down so we are not clipping and here we go now let's hear it again without the tone generator so this is how you add a sub kick like low frequency to your drum sound. Obviously, you can change the frequency of the tone generator and tune the sub kick to your liking. Thank you for watching.